Right, good evening everybody, welcome back. I'm sorry that it's so late, um, but better late than never, right? We're going to do the last episode of Series 3 of Still Game. Oot! So, uh, yep, not going to mess about, just going to get straight into this. Let's go. Please like and subscribe. Right then, let's get a look at you. Oh no, 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 not good. Not good at all. Aye, not good, not good at all. It's all in the chest. Listen. <laughs> Just going to have a lie down on the couch. We have a wee hot water bottle. <laughs> we have a wee hot water bottle. <laughs> yes, John. Bye. Faker. <laughs> ah, that'll give the bastard something to think about. Mind you. That's bad news, that. It's What's bad news? Make note you're at death's door and see how rang with you. And him away out there worried sick. <laughs> Is he buggery? He called last month there when I had the flu. Sure, I was bad with it, Jack. Oh. And he gives it on the phone. Look, it's probably just a cold, Dad. Take a couple of aspirins and away to your bed. Mm. Aye, that's right. Aye, see, that's you, Clark. Mind you, what, what we expecting him to do? His son's not a doctor, and even if he were, what can he do for the flu or a cold? There's no cure, so... But I, I get, you know, I get where he's coming from. He could have visited him if he was really bad. I'm new, because you know what he's like. He's a he's an uncaring bastard. That's enough now. Do you know he was out there at the phone? What? Oh, oh I don't know, Dad. We'll probably not get a holiday this year. We're too busy. Which I know to be a lot of pish, because the Grand Wayne let slip to me that they're they're going to her moz for a fortnight in the hang me. Uh, 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 run com. I mean, that's only just doing the road. Yes, you're quite right, Victor. You have indeed been treated shoddily. Nay, shitily. <laughs> if I were you, I would contact my city solicitor and inform him the McDade millions will not be passed on to the natural son John, but awarded in its totality to the cat and dog home. He shall suffer for his lack of concern by receiving not a curdy of my millions, a nane of my stuff. A nane of my stuff. <laughs> Surely he'll be expecting to be bequeathed the side plate of Blackpool. Not will he ever clap. The side plate of Blackpool. Spies <laughs> on the tea towel of Balloch. <laughs> what is that stuff she wears on her eye? She looks ridiculous. Every episode she's in, she's wearing. How'd you go on? Fantastic. She was that accurate. Oh, would yeah. you tell you? I'm coming into money. Aye. I'm going to get a holiday. Oh. After worry less. Oh. After worry less. I've got a big change coming. Oh, that's great news. Hint took me now. Good for you, Peggy. Aye. Oh, Next. Oh, jeez. That's me. Oh. <laughs> Uh, leave your scampi on the table, hen. Then he ran my tent, honk, do it. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Fit is Long John Silver. If I was Long John Silver, you'd be first to walk the plank, you wank. Oh. <laughs> Tam. Eric. What's wrong with you? Fit's louting. I can barely stone on it. Is it a bunion or something? No, it's not a bunion. Yep, wait till I show you. Whoa, <laughs> you bastard. What is that? Oh, put your slipper back on. That would give you the book. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing the doctor in the morning. He's done. That would give you the book. <laughs> give me something for it. Uh, a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joy to be old. That's no getting better. That's finished. Tell you what, though. When it drops off next week, I'll give you a ten and we'll stick it behind the bar as a dragon. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. I'm in agony here. Funny thing is, though, you know, this is not my first time, so... Turns out, Bobby and Tam and everybody else are correct. Sorry, Winston. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a scampion tarot night. £2.50. Peggy organised it. What's tarot? 
cared. Mm. Looking in the future and that. Apparently she's very, very good. What a sight! <laughs> Whiskey, Bobby. Hey, what, uh, what happened there? Uh, she didn't like her reading. Well, what did you tell her? Tell her she was going to get knocked down by a motor next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> what did you tell her that? Wednesday. Oh, pfft. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> That's what is said in the cards. Ella, you're here for entertainment. No tell them they're going to snuff it. Bobby, the cards don't lie. Is there somebody here in pain? With a leg or a foot? Oh, get it off you. <laughs> Fully shite. He's my scampy. Seriously though, I remember, you know, I, don't, I can't remember if I picked up on this the first time, but if he's got something wrong with his foot or his leg that's so bad that it's stinking to the point where the doctor has to spray air freshener in the office, then he must have like some form of advanced stage necrosis. Like his foot literally must be rotting off. Right? Ugh. Oh, that is a bit whiffy, isn't it? Aye, a wee bit. Do you smoke, Mr Ingram? No, no, not at all, son. I gave up five years ago. Too dear, sure. How many would you say you smoked a day? Ten, fifteen, say eighty. Eighty? <laughs> right, well, I would say that could be the reason eight. for your foot. Cigarettes I'm going to send you up to see a Dr Fletcher at the Royal. Get him to have a look at it. Is it that bad, is it? It's pretty bad. Bad enough to claim attendance allowance? Oh yes, I would say so. I'll just have to fill out a form for the social security. Yes, you dancer. No, <laughs> listen, that's the. Yes, I'm going to get my pep. <laughs> Mind you, what are you already be on? Oh no, we never did work out what exactly Winston was on, did we? The number of the hospital. Can you get up there tomorrow? No problem, son. There's just one other person I've got to see first. <laughs> I'm in the money, I'm in the money. I've got a gammy fit and it's worth an extra 40 quid a week in attendance allowance. <laughs> what are you looking so chipper about? Oh, the doctor says I've got extra social security causing my bad fit. So are we? Jesus! That's bogging. What's going on? Years and years of smoking. That's bogging. Yeah. That? You may get lucky, Jack. You could be next. Cheerio, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back in ten minutes, fishing that out of there. Push, that's me done with it. Oh, Jesus, I have known you a long, long time. And I have never seen you without that pipe. Uh, you just got to watch, but you know. How's that? Well, they say that when you stop smoking, the first thing that happens is the old weight shoots up. Alright. Right. Right. That's true, because I don't know if it's actually the nicotine or what, but there's a, one of the ingredients in... Cigarettes, that's uh, an appetite suppressant, so yeah, that's true. Something to do with an increase in appetite. Got a fact, eh? <laughs> oh, look at that. You've got a message in your answer machine. I'll retrieve that. Da, 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 da. Indeed you will not. Last time I had a message, you rubbed it out. Oh, Mr Popular, that was about two bloody years ago. Have you not had a phone call since then? No. <laughs> You're just jealous because I've got a machine and I've got a message. Are you going to let us hear it or what? Right. You may retrieve the message now. Retrieve the message now. Oh, shite. What? I've only went and rubbed it out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> only kidding. Right, you ready? Right. Uh -huh. Only kidding. Hi, Dad, you're not in. Um, maybe you're sleeping. Look, I hope you're feeling better. I'll uh, phone later. <laughs> There you are. There you are, boy. He's worried. Look, John calls me, if I'm lucky, every six months. He's called yesterday, there he is on the phone the other day. He's sitting up and he's, he's paying attention now. That's no fair. That means you've got him worried for nothing. 
Oh, well, it seems to be working. Hello, John. The face. Hello, Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> yes, I got your message. Yes, I got your message. <laughs> Just went out for a wee bit of fresh air there. Thought it might do me some good. <laughs> no, I just seem to have tired myself out. <laughs> Jack? Yes, Jack's here. How? I want to speak to you. Come on. Get up, you victor. I am not telling any lies for you. Here he is. Here he is. <laughs> Hello, John. Dropped him right in it. Uh huh. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, he's not great, is he? No, no. But he's got me sure. Aye, aye. I'll make sure he gets a right good rest. <laughs> uh huh. That's a smash, my dear son. That's what to do, aye. Phone, phone the morrow. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, Johnny boy. See you later now. All the, all... You are one big lousy bastard. I know. I feel lousy. Really lousy. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> one of them will make you feel oh, better. How are you doing, Isa? Terrible. Do you know what that bloody spay wife says to me? Ah, the spay wife. She says, you're going to hear about a birth, you're going to get lucky with money, and get this, you're going to die in Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, come on, you don't actually believe that, do you? I don't know what to think. Everybody else said she was dead accurate. She's put a fear of God in me. So, how are you going to meet your maker? Right, Knocked in my car. A silver car. Oh, wait a minute. What? I've got a silver car. Maybe I'm going to knock you down on Thursday, so I don't have to pee on Friday. <laughs> it's not funny. I'll get her £2.50. £2.50? For your fortune? You got a plate of scampi and all for that. Hold the bus, Isa. I think it is safe to assume that your spay wife is docking pish. Who's that? Well, scampi, huh? A big bag of that for the cash and carry will set you back about £7.99. How many of you are there? Uh, eight is. Eight portions, eh? So that's a quite a skull. Was the tartar sauce? Oh, aye. Aye, so that's another 10p, which leaves you with £1.40. £1.40? Aye, with this transport travel there and back, say £2 each way is £4. Divided by the eight people, it will is 50p. Take that away. Fucking hell, walking, talking calculator, this block. So £1.40 leaves you with 90p. So. You're telling me you queued up to pay 90 pence to be told that you're going to pop your clock on Thursday? <laughs> well, forgive me, Isa, but you're being a stupid cow. If you could read fortunes, would you only be charging 90 pence? Would you buggery? Bye. In fact, why don't you give me 90 pence now? And I will tell you that when you wake up in the morning, you'll be Bridget Bardo, huh? Aye, I suppose you're right, Navid. Hey, I'm going to talk to you about your story, and I'm going to talk to you about your story. I'm going to talk to you about your story. Six eggs, Navid. Oh, hello, Isa. That's just straight up bullying. Isa, that's Noreen Kirkwood had a wee boy. Seven pounds, six <laughs> ounces. <laughs> yeah, well, you got a wee sharp knife in the house? I do, aye, how? Both carrots. I'm going to cut them up into wee bits. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you going to do? Are you going to stick them all back together again? No. I'm going to eat them, sure. That's going to keep me off the pipe. Oh, aye, the pipe. How are you getting on with that? Shite, actually. Couldn't aye. get to sleep for ages last night, and then aye, it's not I eventually did drop off dreams, you know. What kind of dreams? Pipe dreams. Pipe dreams? Ooh, bollock naked. <laughs> running about a tobacco field. Slow motion. Like that. And the field's in fire. I'm not worried. I just lie down. Fill my lungs like that. <laughs> those wee carrots are going to save you, are they? Ah, well. Let's hope so. Ah, I'll be my John. <laughs> getting into character. Again. <laughs> Just getting into character. Aye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, John. You're what? Half an hour, you say? Right. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Jack. What? That was John. He's at the airport. He's here. He's going to be here in half an hour. 
I bloody tell you. Oh, tell me what. what? Putting on that performance in the phone, now look what you've done. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't drag no. me into it. I'm doing a hole I here. So, Aye, man. you're doing a hole, but you dug it yourself. Aye. Giving it all that, oh, I'm going to go and lie on the couch with a hot water bottle, I'm no well. <laughs> you bucked the boy into a frenzy and now he's here. Right, right. Mm. You open the door. Aye. And you say, you're too late. Your dad's deed. That's utter shite. He's only just off the phone to you. Says he'll be here in half an hour. What have I do? Open the door and say, Oh, hello, John. In you come. Oh, by the way, your dad died ten minutes ago. Aye, right, it's garbage, Jack. <laughs> you think of something. How have I to think of That's something? You were the last one that spoke to him. You probably laid it on too thick. You're to blame. Oh, what? That's right, I'm to blame, I. I'm going to accept that. In fact, here's what we'll do. I'll get an iron brew bottle, right? And oh, batter you bastard melon, mate! <laughs> then you will be ill when he comes to the door. What a bloody spot you've got us into. Oh, I don't, but... <laughs> How does this sound? You know, that is such a great visual gag. Yeah. Really clever, that. Do you? Oh, for a ten, I'm a feed. Oh, jeez, that's bad. Two words, it's very much finding it. Two, three. Ah, oh, the spare wife. Oh, dear. First the birth, now the finding of the money, eh? I'm going to get killed by Karen Thursday. Now, Isa, calm your beans. It's a coincidence. Oh, no. You're not going to die on Thursday. Just take it easy, eh? Put it to the back of your mind. And don't let your life be ruled by such silliness. You think? Aye. Oh, oh I'm just being daft, haven't I? Aye. Yes. But, you know, just in case, huh? Maybe I should uh, pop this in the window, eh? Ha, bloody ha! Ha, bloody ha! Do you know, I, again, I know, it's only, I know it's only a show, TV show, but I have to mention it. I just, you know, I get such a vibe, such a feeling that it'd be, it'd be such a huge laugh working for Naveed, you know, <laughs> all day in that shop with him and his quick wit, <laughs> you know, it, it'd be such a giggle. Grapes, any grapes? Aye, just there. All right, hey, hey, what is it? People's friend. People's friend. Oh, and I need the uh, Lucas Aid and the uh, paracetamol. Thank you. Um, Somebody got a hangover? Thank you. You okay, Jack? Uh, me, aye. Oh, what a bloody day I'm having. Uh, I've keyed up my pipe, you know. Oh, good for you. Oh, uh, good for you. I'm not on jangly way, but you know. Uh, I'm sure that'll pass. I'm sure it will. Now, if I ask you for tobacco under no circumstances, have you let me have it, OK? Understood. Doesn't matter how much I want it. Doesn't matter how much you want it. I've not to get it. it. You've not to get it. Not to get Begging, it. pleading, shouting and bawling, doing on my knees and everything, I have not to get tobacco. No tobacco. Yeah. No tobacco. Okay. See you later. I'll take a packet of tobacco. <laughs> Navid! Navid! Come on, Jack, seal's a seal. Ah, oh, oh, you, you big, big bastard, bastard you. Yeah. will always be here for you, Jack. Bless <laughs> <laughs> it. Jack! Who's that? It's your son, John. Came to visit you. Dad. <laughs> Jordan, son. I love how they've set the scene. They've even closed the curtains, you know, so the room's all dark. Tartan blanket, hot water bottle, Lucas Aid bottle, lid off. You only do that when you're really ill, you know, just take the lid off and leave it. Grapes, yeah, you know, Paris of Jesus. <laughs> Mind you, attention to detail. Shouldn't he be facing the other way? The TV's behind him. Hmm. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Hello, boy. It's good. You're finally with us. <laughs> <laughs> Come closer, son. Let me see you. Come here. Ah, oh, you're getting old. Just like your dad. How was your flight, son? Oh, never mind that. What? How are you? Oh, boy. You know. Jack! What? 
Can I get a wee cup of tea? Aye, aye. Jack, could you run us up a wee play of sandwiches and all? What do you want on them? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Could you grate it, but? Could you grate it, but? <laughs> grate it? Put a wee bit of onion through it. Onion? Ranch and pickle. Pickle, right? Pickle, right? Right. He's <laughs> sick of the piss now. <laughs> Mr Ingram, you wish to apply for attendance allowance. For oh. my fit. You take fits? No. no. For my foot. For my it's foot. Right. Snackered. What do you mean? Snackered. It's sore when I walk, it's sore when I'm sleeping. It's just sore all the time. Right, and you want us to give you extra money for that? Yes. Well, yes. we'll need a doctor's report. Of course. That won't be a problem. Of course it won't. What do you mean, of course it won't? Well, as I can see from your file, it's one of the things you excel in, claiming. In 1992, you claimed for a new cooker and a new fryer because you said two big men came in, tied you up and stole them. That's right, that was horrible, that. Right, and then last year you claimed a laundry allowance because of incontinence due to a motorcycle accident. Yes, yes, that's quite correct. I, I was on the sidecar of my mate Phil's uh, motorcycle and we hit an oil patch and boof, right. that was it. It, it. it came away and I shat myself. <laughs> that was me after that. It came away and I shat myself. <laughs> Winston is just too good. Oh dear. Isn't he? Is he not too good? And boof! That was it. It, 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 it came away win. and I shot myself. <laughs> that was me after that. that I just got under the way of it. I've been doing it ever since. I've got a big nappy on right now. <laughs> so this claim, to be honest, is a bit of a letdown. Eh? It's not very imaginative, is it? I do have a bad foot. I don't think you do. Well, darling, how would you like to get your tongue in between those tootsies? Get that off my desk. Aye. I'll just get your form. What? <laughs> There's no time with you, then. No, just check yourself into one of the big hotels in the tune. Why don't you just come clean and tell him you've been acting a bloody good? That will be right. Go off his nut, Jack. So when are you seeing him again? It's going to pop up later. Well done. Pop up later. Anyway. Tells in the tune. Watch the kid in the yellow jumper. <laughs> Why don't you just come clean and tell him you've been acting a bloody good? What? That will be right. Go off his nut, Jack. So when are you seeing him again? He's going to pop up here. I thought he nearly fell over. <laughs> anyway, I think he's a chance to get a pint. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 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 <laughs> oh, what are you doing <laughs> What am I doing it, Jack? Eh? Hey. Oh, he's got fucking dementia now. <laughs> he's gone from... You know, having a li having a bit of bad flu or whatever to the full Joe Biden. <laughs> uh, I thought we could see if we could maybe manage a wee pint. With all due respect, Jack, I think my dad should be in the house. Uh, John's right, Jack. I should be in the house. <laughs> no, that's a lot of nonsense, Victor. Sure, you better come near the world of good. I'll come with you. Excuse me, Dad. Jack. Hello. It's a hotel. My visa number. Right. What we do? Uh, go for a pint. But everyone in the clansmen will be wondering what's wrong with me. Uh, okay, pint. Aye, aye, aye. Take your feathers out on there. Look at him! I'll just stand here for a wee minute. <laughs> Catch my breath. It's off a smoky in there, Jack. I'll wait with you then. Right, I'll, I'll wait another then. <laughs> Oh, eh. Uh, no, I'm not going anyway. I'll, I'll get in the pub. <laughs> Here. Listen. Oh, Tam. Eric. Shh, Bobby. Victor. No well at all. What's wrong, man? Nothing. 
<laughs> Who's coming off to South Africa because Victor's made out he's no well? What's he doing that for? He just is. Victor's laying it on thick, crinkle cut crisps. That's what I write along with my beer. So three lagers, please, and the, the crisps. Let's get your seat there. No. Aye. Beer, Victor? Are you sure? I could get you a wee lemon tea or a hot chocolate, seeing as you're no well. <laughs> get a toilet in here. Ah, ah. Oh, I'm on a terrible attack of the thirst here, Bobby. I'll have a pint of lager, please. Victor's buying. Hey! Otherwise, I'll go into that cludgy and start blabbering. You rat! I'll have one and all. You know me, Victor, I like you, but it's sticky in. Single malt <laughs> buys my silence. Right, you bastards! <laughs> Jack, do you think he's buying it? Oh, I don't know, Victor. He looks a wee bit suspicious to me. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a fall. Why? Well, uh, I did that. Uh. Oh! You're doing that bloody clown. Would it not be better if he seen you doing it? I don't know, will it? Right, I will cue you to fall, right? <clears throat> oh, what? So he's gonna fall on cue as soon as he's somewhat back out of the toilet. <laughs> Hold it. Ash! Oh! Nah, false alarm, that's not him. That'd be good. Sorry. That's you. Hey. Oh! Oh my god, you look that. Oh, 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 the indignity! Oh, the indignity! Johnson! Johnson! My hip! My hip! Finished. Hi. Hi, you are. There's nothing wrong with you, is there, Dad? Really? No. Give us your keys. Oh. Keys. I'll see you back at the flat. Ooh, we just gave Jack the death stare as well. Five pounds sixty for your drinks, Mr. Brando. <laughs> ah, no, Doctor, give it to me straight. I can take it. I'm a man. Are they going to have to hack it off? <laughs> yes. What? You really should have come to as much sooner with this. Eh? There's been no circulation in that foot for far too long. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> so I was right. Necrosis. Advanced necrosis. Never mind. Just thought I recognised the doctor, but it uh, doesn't matter now. They're waiting on it. Yeah. I couldn't move. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give that spree wife for juice, she's bloody good. But that's it. I'll it's over this. now. <laughs> I think you're in the clear. <laughs> John! John! No, Dad, forget it. John! Nothing wrong with you now, is it, Dad? For God's sake, hold on! Nah. Look, stop right there. I'm very angry at you right now, Dad. I know, I know. Yep. I'm way out of line. Out of line? I flew over here worried sick. For what? For nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. Yeah, but... I know, I know. Do you not think I've got better things to be getting on with than travelling over here for a joke? For a prank? Listen, son, I'm busy. I'm at a very important part of my career right now. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. That's the point. Every time Victor tr tries to, you know, ring you and ask you your fans are visiting, you, seem to, you just happen to be at a very important part of my career right now. You know, that, that's the problem.
I mean, in real life, in this situation, I would say just be honest. You know, if if you've got a son who doesn't visit you enough and you're Victor's age, you haven't got anybody else, your wife's dead, etc. Same situation as Victor. Be honest. Say, you know, I'm an old man, I'm lonely. I, I've i got a son that I never see because he lives in, works in South Africa. Tell him. Don't end up in this situation. I mean, nobody would go to this length of stupidity, would they? Probably. I don't know. Well, you never know. But just be honest, you know? But if, you know, if you, if you're in John's situation, don't be a John, you know, do better. Oh, it's a bad way to behave. I've been stupid. I'm a s silly old bastard. A desperate silly old bastard, though. But you, you never bloody phone. Exactly. I'm on my own here. Apart from Jack, I've nobody. Also, it's been proven by like medical studies that loneliness actually makes older people die sooner. Because, you know, the, the less time they're spending with people, the less time they're spending socialising and, you know, being stimulated. So it leaves their brain with hardly anything to do but keep their body running for the duration of the time that they're awake day to day, so it just makes you shut down even quicker. So you not visiting your parents when they're this age, it's actually killing them quicker. Think about that. D did you know that Jack took me with him to Canada a few weeks back there? Canada? I see, you didn't even know that, did you? You really did. No. Because no. he rung him. Before he rung his son to ask him if he could go visit him in that oh, continuity error, okay, fair enough, whatever. I mean, did it ever occur to you that I might be missing you? I mean, all this. I'm sorry. I'm missing you. What like was Canada? Smashing! Aye. Oh, I love their grub. Full of big fatties. <laughs> <laughs> How does this sound, eh? We'll all come over this summer. Spend some time together. Aye, aye. No, aye, no, no. Aye. We'll come over. I'll book it when we get back to the house. I mean it. I'll know what you're doing. They never saw that, did really? they? Really? Aye. You guys all right, are you? Aye, aye. Aye, I've said my sorries, Jack, aye. Aye, we're good. Isn't that right, John? Brand new, Dad. Yeah, glad to hear it. <laughs> Jack! Get back in the pipe! Aye, I know. Well, there's a hell of a lot going on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So John's coming over in the summer with the family? Come here. I am indeed. Not much smashing. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I can't even wait to see their faces when I tell them they're not going to Disney World. They're going to Craig Lang. <laughs> Disney World. The Kuntz will just be painting all the slides in the park. Uh, oh. I'll buy a nice boat and a vids. It's a new Greg's opening high street. £2.99. Beach ball from the Vids. Space Mountain as many times as you want. There's no bottles on plain hit. Yeah, yeah. stick store. <laughs> shuts itself like when you blink it doesn't open oh, you know it feels like it's stuck might have a dry eye 
So John busted you right there in the clansman. Hi. Hi. That's a shame. I'm sorry I missed that. Some state of affairs, isn't it, Winston? Pish. The way I see it, I've been lucky. It could have been my lungs. I, I was doing 80 fags a day, senior service to. No asking about with your poofy silkies. <laughs> poofy silkies. I it's used funny to that, poofy it? silkies. You never think that when you're lighting up, that one day they might have to hack a limb off you, but that's what's happened. No, you don't. Anyway, what's been happening with yous? Jack's back in the pipe. Oh, good, aye. Yeah. Uh, Hard to imagine you without it. Oh, aye, the guy in the bed at the end of the ward. Wants to buy my slippers off yeah. me. <laughs> You've heard that, aye. Aye. For every arsehole in the ward. <laughs> right, we'll, uh, we'll away and... Let you get a rest, Winston. Aye, let me get a rest. There you are, sweetheart. Well, there's a bit of company for you, Mr Ingram. Winston! Ha ha! Nurse, what are you doing in oh, here? Uh, Never mind that. Nurse. Wait till I tell you what nurse, happened to me, Winston. Nurse, nurse, nurse. <laughs> nurse. <laughs> See? Again, I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't mind if I ended up in the same cubicle, uh, you know, in the cubicle next to Isa in hospital. I'd be happy with that. Someone have a chat to while I was stuck in hospital. Yeah, thank you very much. I'd enjoy that. Uh, but there you go, that's the end. Um, so I don't want to go on too long. I want to get this on YouTube as fast as possible. Um... But of course, let me uh, remind everybody that earlier on this evening, I posted the uh, special offers for April, and we've got some the, the start of a a couple of new schemes. So, you know the the paid requests that we have, I'm launching the uh, the brand new reward scheme from today, which is gonna work. Similarly to how, you know, if you are a regular customer of some kind of takeaway like Greg's or Starbucks, you'll have like a loyalty card. In fact, what gave me the idea was last night my uh, mum had me go with her to the uh, vape shop so that I could, you know, go buy her a vape because I think she was in her pyjamas or something. And she had a lo like a loyalty card with uh, six things on it. And once you get them all stamped, you get like a discount or something free. That's what gave me the idea. So that's how it's going to work. Once you've had six paid requests, you get a free video request. You know? So that's how it's going to work. So everybody who makes requests, I'll keep a little record of, uh, you know, your name and how many videos you've requested. And when you get to six, I'll let you know, oh, that's you requested six videos now. You get one for free. You get one free. So that's going to be good. And um, I'm also doing... So, so the discounts for brand new Patreon members is going to be... Anyone who joins the one, two, three, or four dollar a month tier will get their second month for free. And all new members of the <coughs> 6, 8, 12, 40, and 15, 99 tiers will get a cashback reward in their first month and if you renew for the second month you'll get it then as well so if you join the 619 you'll get two dollars back eight dollar tier you'll get three dollars back twelve forty five dollars fifteen ninety nine you'll get ten dollars back so yeah can't say fairer than that that's probably the biggest discount I've offered you know the majority of the fee back in uh, the fifteen ninety nine there um, also What's the other brand new one? So for my longest standing members, so if you've been a member five months or more, paid member, I'm going to be offering um, like a, I haven't thought of a name for it yet, but basically March has been um, a really bad month for people cancelling due to financial situation changing. So I'm saying if that ends up happening to you, just send me a message and we can arrange something where you can have a month of your Patreon for free. You know, you pay your membership fee and then I send it back to you via PayPal. Um, and also, 
for the long-standing members. I'll offer you a free month of membership if you upgrade to any tier that's above the, the one that you're in. Uh, so I, I don't think I can, I can say fairer than that. But yeah, those are the special offers for April. Oh, and um, the uh, special offer of three paid requests for £4 will be extended for at least another month. So uh, go ahead and take advantage of those. Yeah, save yourselves a bit of money. I was going to start a new... I was going to trial something new as well, but I don't think it's time to do it yet. Because I still need to work out how... You know, the boundaries of it. Because it could be taken advantage of. Quite. I'm not saying people would, but it's just I need to be careful. Because people could say, oh, well... You, well, well never, never mind, never mind. You'll know what I, what I mean if I do eventually launch it. I'm not going to talk about it in case I don't launch it, but I think I am going to. But it's going to take a bit of time for me to work out how, you know, the rules, the limits, the boundaries. Um, but if you want to know what it is, just send me a message on Facebook, or if you're a Patreon member, send me a message on Patreon, and I'll tell you what this idea is I've got. In fact, pe actually, yeah, people please do that. Message me on Facebook if you're not on the Patreon, or if you are, message me on Patreon and ask me about it so that I can ask you guys about it, you know, mention it to you, and you can tell me what you think about it and if it would work, uh, if you think it's a good idea, if it would, you know, make you interested in Patreon. All that kind of stuff. Audience research, again. So please do, you know, get in touch with me, because I would like to hear from as many of you as possible about this idea that I've got, because it's quite a radical idea. No one... I bet no one's ever done this on Patreon, regardless of the kind of content they, they make. Not just reaction videos. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, great episode. Winston's lost his leg, um, and that sets up the uh, long-running joke of the series for uh, many series to come. <laughs> Hop along, Winston. Yep. Um... And that's at the end of series three, isn't it? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Not much else to say. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please like if you did and subscribe. And again, as I said, check out the special offers and take advantage of them any which way. And I hope you're happy with them. And um, is there anything else I need to tell you guys about? Uh, no, no. Anything that I'm, you know, any updates, I've put it in the community tab in the last few days. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so, that's, that's all. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Good night.